the universe is filled with objects so extreme they sometimes fill me with existential dread. Today's example is the magnetar, a type of neutron star that has a magnetic field so strong that the magnetic field has weight. A lot of weight. Hold on, let me explain. Around the strongest magnetars, the magnetic field is around 10 to the 11 tesla. This is impossible to put in perspective, except by saying that the magnetic field is about a billion times stronger than the strongest magnets we can make. But magnetic fields aren't just things that exist on their own. They exist in the context of all in which they live. Indeed, just by existing, magnetic fields have a certain amount of energy. The amount of energy in a given volume is proportional to the magnetic field strength in that volume squared. So clearly, there's a ton of energy stored in a magnetar's magnetic field. But have you ever considered how much that energy weighs? Einstein's famous E equals mc squared relation says that if you have some energy somewhere, it contributes to the mass of the system by an amount equal to the energy divided by the speed of light squared. Usually, for normal magnetic fields, that's basically nothing. But around a magnetar? Nah. Magnetars are around 20 kilometers across. Now, imagine a bubble wrapped around the magnetar that floats off the surface by one kilometer. The magnetic field between the surface of the magnetar and the edge of the bubble has enough energy so that, by Einstein's mass energy equivalence, it has about as much mass as Mars. Let me rephrase that. The magnetic field is so strong that its equivalent mass density is about a million times more than that of lead. The magnetic field is so strong that, on its own, this bubble of magnetic field that's 21 kilometers across would have a gravitational pull that's almost 10,000 times stronger than the Earth's. And that's just from the magnetic field, I'm not including the actual mass from the magnetar in that calculation. If that doesn't freak you out even a little bit, I don't know what to tell you.